April Clark, your registered dietitian at the Food Allergy Center at Children's Medical Center Dallas. And I'm Chris Hensel, the executive chef at Children's Medical Center Dallas. And today we're going to show you some interesting, fun ways to cook allergy-free meals. We know that families with food allergies have a challenge cooking meals for their children. So today we're going to show you a recipe that's free of the top eight allergens, which include milk, egg, wheat, soy, peanut, tree nut, fish, and shellfish. Chris, what tasty meal are you going to make today? Today, April, we're going to do a chicken and brown rice soup. The ingredients for the recipe are brown rice, celery, diced carrot, diced onion, garlic, bay leaf ground, cracked black pepper, sea salt, olive oil, chicken broth, chicken breast, and spinach and a little bit of water. So we're going to start, we got our, our hot broth over here. It's a low so sodium organic chicken broth that we've got hot. And we're going to bring in our olive oil. We're going to get that going. So we're going to saute some vegetables before we end the chicken. So as we get going, we're going to get our a little bit of onion going, diced white onion going. And we will also throw in our sliced carrot. Going to cut up a little bit of, careful there, it likes to spit and pop and away we go. Get it going. So as the weather gets colder, this is a great easy dish. It'll take you all of maybe 30 minutes and we're good to go. Now Chris, do I have to saute these vegetables in the pan before or could I just throw them straight in the broth? That's good. Uh, no, you just go straight into the broth if you want. Why I'm sauteing them is because I just want to bring the flavors out okay. a little bit and caramelize the flavors. Okay. And we're going to add in our diced celery. I've got two chicken breasts here, just boneless, skinless. Now you could use dark chicken if you want, if you want to add a little bit more calories to it. So we're just going to cube this up a little bit. Now we're going to do two things. We're going to saute this, which is going to help sear our chicken. And then when we add our broth to it, it'll help boil it out and leach a little bit more of the flavor into the chicken. But at this time, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic, about a tablespoon of garlic to that. And a touch of ground bay leaf. So we're just going to toss that up just a little bit, just until our chicken gets all brown there. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, sea salt to that, a little bit of pepper. Now if you got fresh crack, that's even better, it'll bring out the flavors. We're going to cut up our fresh spinach. Now Chris, if I remember correctly, the recipe uh, suggested kale for this soup, but you're using spinach today. Can you explain why? Well, it's kind of a personal preference, so you can use either. Kale adds a nice full body flavor, it doesn't wilt as much. Mm -hmm. Spinach is, more people tend to like spinach. Yeah, so, I think spinach is more kid friendly too than kale. So we're going to save that till the end, give this a little bit more toss. What we're going to do to kind of bring this up a little bit is we're going to add a little bit of the hot broth to our soup, kind of deglaze our pans. It'll bring the flavors up out of the, the pan, get them back into your food a little bit. So as that gets going, we're just going to turn over a few of the chicken here to finish that up. We're going to add our brown rice to bring that up to temperature. Now did you cook this brown rice ahead of time, Chris? Yes. Okay. So when you're cooking rice, make sure that we get it, and we're boiling, so it's 212 degrees. We want to get that rice back up over 165 degrees to keep it safe. Okay. And could I use white rice or wild rice or some other sort of rice in Bet. this soup? Any kind of thing. If, you're, if your child likes it, use that. All right. This rice is just about up to temp. We're going to finish and we're going to add this hot stock to it, which is about eight cups. And in the store, you can find those, those fun containers that are very shelf stable. So we're going to take our chopped spinach. And as you'll see, all this will just kind of melt away into the background. And the kids won't really even know, like, Ew, what's that green stuff? <laughs> but we'll be good. And basically what we want to do to finish this off is you'll bring it up to a boil. Okay. And we'll be ready to serve it. Really, it's only going to take about a half an hour. Okay. So some fun ways to change the flavor. 
would be is you could barbecue that chicken. You could add just, you know, seasoned barbecue and that would add a roasted flavor to it. Um, you can use the kale like we we're talking about to add different vitamins and minerals that okay. or something your child likes. Be good to go. Beautiful colors. And there you go, chicken and brown rice soup.